What if you were called to a Senate hearing to defend not just your data, but the analytics you use to generate it and the decisions you based on that data? The spatial industry is great at sharing data, but our key value lies in our analysis processes and the expertise behind those analyses. The Open Spatial Analytics project is building new open tools to capture and share the knowledge that underpins spatial analytics, in effect creating executable documentation. So the aim of the Open Spatial Analytics project is to enable anyone to share, adapt and remix spatial analytics. And we're doing this through scientific workflows. But what are scientific workflows? Well, scientific workflows share much in common with business workflows and model analytics as a network of data flows and operations. There are many different scientific workflow platforms available now, but after a thorough investigation, we settled on NIME as the best workflow platform for the Open Spatial Analytics project. Here we can see an example of a workflow for spatial information. The data coming in from the left flows through a number of operations represented by the boxes and the arrows represent the flows of data between those operations. So we can see immediately this idea of executable documentation. We can look at the workflow and have an idea what sorts of things it's going to be doing. Here we can see a user construct a workflow using the Open Spatial Analytics platform. Operations can be dragged and dropped onto the canvas and then connected up by data flows between those operations. And the user can choose to view the mapped data at any point throughout the workflow. Workflows can also be hierarchical with sub-workflows being grouped together into metanodes. By creating metanodes, the user can manage the complexity of the workflow as well as increase its clarity. The graphical overview of the analytics process provided by the workflow helps to capture the knowledge behind that analytics as intuitive, executable documentation. Collaboration and sharing is central to workflows, so a user can easily export the workflow and share that with other users. Workflows can be saved at any point in their construction with the user choosing whether to include the data too. Users can then quickly adapt each other's shared workflows. Here, the user is adapting the workflow by changing the shapefile data sources for Kangaroo Island with data for the whole of Victoria. The whole workflow can then simply be rerun with a different data set. Our workflow platform can combine spatial data and operations from many different sources. Here we can see the user replacing a local data source with a remote PostGIS database using only drag and drop actions. The user can again simply rerun the analytics process with the new data source. Our platform already integrates with data sources and operations from all of these different open source systems and we're adding more systems all the time. We are working together with Geoscience Australia on the case study of using workflows for constructing the national DEM. This process involves blending LiDAR data from over 60 surveys in a coherent whole. Geoscience Australia's process is extremely well documented, but this documentation is static and exists separate from the data and the tools used. This lack of connection between documentation, source data and tools means that every time the process is rerun, it may need to be reinterpreted from the documentation. To address this, the team has taken Geoscience Australia's process and broken it down into a scientific workflow. Again, the boxes here represent the individual processes and arrows represent data flows. Originally, some parts of the process were manual and involved user discretion. We've automated these parts using a series of consistent rules. And by doing so, we can ensure that the process is repeatable. The same input data will always produce the same output. By automating the process, whenever new data is added, a new DEM can be generated automatically. And by capturing the knowledge about the process in the form of a workflow, we've transformed it into executable documentation. 
This is what the process actually looks like in the Open Spatial Analytics toolbox in full detail. But of course, we can always use metanodes to simplify the process for higher level interpretation. Currently, we only process data from a small test area, but because scientific workflows live in the cloud, we will soon scale up our process to construct the entire national DEM just as easily as for a test area. Of course, the operations and data flows captured in our current workflows are only one component of the creation of a foundational spatial data framework. We're also aiming to use scientific workflows as modules that can be integrated within larger business workflows to support the whole data lifecycle. And we're also improving our user interface. By making our interfaces more intuitive, more usable, they become more understandable for everyone. We aim to make it easier for users without spatial expertise to manipulate spatial data. And looking to the future, we're creating a platform that will ultimately help users answer questions about spatial data, not simply program spatial analytics.